Let me see. Are we? No, not yet. Yes, we are. We are live. It ain't pop up on my screen. It's been two. All right, everyone. Hi, this is Peaches182000, Variety Streamer. I hope y'all having a good day today. This is my first podcast, and I'm here with 901 The Gamer, Valor Saint, Ace Trainer Trend, and Sensei Toga P will be in shortly. He's streaming right now. We're here to discuss three movies. We have uh, I Am Legend. The second movie is... Um, <clears throat> is day shifts which i always seem to forget <laughs> and the third one is morbius i'm ready for all of them yep all right so uh ace train the trend uh what up? let everybody know about yourself oh you know what it is i don't need no introduction it's ace trainer trend variety streamer pokemon lover Tim Tim addict war thunder vet um, musician, mother, <laughs> all of it. Hey, uh, 901 The Gamer. Hey, what's up, y'all? I am 901 The Gamer. Uh, I am a Forza streamer, um, car, yeah, racing gamer, streamer, um, a guy that loves cars and loves sneakers. And you know, just love to give out positive vibes to the community and the world. <laughs> hey, y'all, we got Valor Saint. He is actually at work, so he's in and out, but he is there. And also, we got Valor Saint uh, silhouette. <laughs> <laughs> like, have you All seen right. his silhouette? <laughs> Well, y'all, you know what? This is the quietest he's ever been, y'all. Hey, come here, come I here. Know that, come look, here, look, come look, here. I know that 30 years. This is the quietest he's ever been. <laughs> it's it's Valestine, baby. But much respect to Valestine for trying yeah, to be so in here while he's at work. Uh, he's an amazing streamer, and he has a great, uh, great community. Uh, okay. I myself am a part of his community and SB okay. certified. Much respect to SB. Uh, this is Togepi, Sensei Togepi. What's up, now, <laughs> Hey, what's up, Sensei? What's up, bro? Hey, <laughs> tell everybody about yourself. Uh, I stream a lot of different games. Um, I say a lot of dumb stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <that's all. laughs> I, I, I do cosplay. I do cosplay. <laughs> There's something right there that I do. And uh, yeah, I just stream a variety of different games. Um, I have fun. I, I just keep chilling. Hey, y'all, if all goes well, he's going to be working out with uh, D Muscle TV. Um, he's going to be helping you out a little bit there. Oh, you go, you'll go. get me in the shape? I need, a, I need to work out tomorrow. Anyway. <laughs> just give me a great reminder. Yeah, he's going he to be a bodybuilder, y'all. He's getting the muscles. I don't know about so, that. All right. I'm not that I, mean, I think Bella left. I think Bella had to go. Well, can I, can, can, that's can all right. Well, you ready to come back? You can come back. All righty. All right. Like, is it now I'm ready. You message me. So I'm like, is it now? Like, I need to. Know. Yeah. That's <laughs> all right, though. I know you were streaming. I was in there modding for you. All right. So, Bella said he had to go, y'all. He had technical difficulty, but he might pop back in. He has the link. All right. So, we're going to start today off with. One second, y'all. Give me a chance. I'm gonna cross this over. We're gonna start off with I Am Legend, the movie I Am Legend. Uh hope most of y'all have seen it. Some of you all may not have seen it. Um, what we're gonna discuss today is our views on I Am Legend, what we liked about it, what we didn't like about it. That'll be the first movie of the night. And let's start with Trinity, uh, our ace trainer trend. We call it Trinity. Your likes and dislikes about the movie? I'm going to start off with the dislikes because I like to say the things for us. The okay. dislikes, I don't like the fact that he didn't take his son with him. I mean, let's just be real. I, what, wait, hold on. Well, I think in the movie, it was a daughter. Like, it was his son playing a girl, right? Mm -hmm. Like, he could have taken, taken his whole family with him, honestly. Like, let's just be real. 
like they could have worked together to stay so they they would have survived longer it would have been a better operation for the whole squad to just stay together um yeah. another thing i don't like i don't like that um spoiler alert, he dies in the end i hate it i hate it i hate it like i i don't think he should have died at the end but that's that's just me the things i liked abs abdominals um, <laughs> Um, ab, ab, abdominals. Did I say abs? Because I, yeah. I like the abs. Yes. Um, I like the I like the fact that he figured out everything on his own. Um, as far as when they when the zombies go to dinner, when they when they go to sleep, when they wake up. Um, I liked his relationship with his dog. I liked seeing the lion out in the open, like in the city. That was fire to me. Just to think, like. What if, what if we did end up like that? Lions and tigers and bears would just be everywhere. Like they would, just, we would be their prey. You know what I mean? Crazy. Yeah, a bit, a bit of awesome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Those are the things I like. I like the writing. I like, I like how the dialogue between him and the dog was, was steady. Like, of course, it was just Will Smith talking most of the time, but it was like. You you got the feeling that he was really depending on his dog for like that camaraderie that that he, that not human but like to have a partner you know what I mean like because he could have went crazy but he had his dog right. yeah okay as far as uh, me I actually I enjoyed the relationship between him and his dog and I don't necessarily agree with him keeping his family there because he wasn't really sure if he was going to survive. He wanted them to be safe. So mm -hmm. in that aspect of him being able to get them on a way out of there to safety, mm -hmm. to a safe haven, I can understand that. Um, it's sad that they didn't make it, but I do understand, you know, putting your family before yourself and, you know, doing that aspect of it. As far as the creatures i love them i i love the way it, they seem so humble and 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 kind of i guess you could say dumb at first mm -hmm. and then in the end it actually shows their ferocity when he actually takes like the female i guess she was the queen or whatever and they, they all just come at him like something out of a horror movie i think that was my favorite part was really the ending uh, it sucks that he died in one of the endings, but at the same time, he didn't give them, he didn't really take them as humans anymore. Mm -hmm. He ignored the fact that they were huddled in groups, that he did understand their, their, their schedule. But what he forgot was they were once human, and he as a lot of scientists do, they think logically, they don't think emotionally that maybe they still have some kind of connection, you know, to each other and, and to humanity. So when you consider at the end, he's shocked that they have this ability to say, look, we got to go save, you know, this woman that shocked him and it surprised him that, hey, you know, maybe they still have some humanity left. Mm -hmm. Um. Well, that's what I took from it as far as what I liked and disliked about it. I didn't really agree with how he looked at them. He looked at them as just monsters. You know, he forgot about the fact they were once human. And I think that's that was his downfall in a way. He underestimated his opponent. Um, yeah, big time. Yeah. Um, uh, 901? Um... The dislikes, I would say, what really got me when he pulled up to like the bridge and he got out and start, you know, like screaming at the dummy. <laughs> Bro, I'm like, I'm like, what are you doing, my guy? Like, it's just you there. And then, like, he forgot he set the trap. And I'm like, come on, man. And, and the fact that, you know, he like knocked himself out and was like hanging all night, well, all <laughs> evening. And his dog like barking. Man, this 
like that part really got to me. Um, mm. And another part, uh, spoiler alert, um, what really got me when he dog got killed, when he dog mm. died. Like, no, like that really hurt me. Like, I feel like if he wouldn't, you know, get out and start, you know, just screaming um, at the dummy, you know, I, I feel like, you know, his dog would have still been there. Um, mm -hmm. And another dislike, um, I didn't like the fact that, you know, when, when the uh, lady and her son came and, like, saved him, um and you know they were trying to tell him like hey man you know we got um i th I think they were going up to like Ver vermont or something like that yeah. they had a whole you know a whole lit um environment you know and he didn't he didn't believe her and he was like no everybody dead and whatnot um i didn't like that part because i i really felt like he could have left he could have left then um but I did like how he didn't give up. Uh, you know, he felt like, you know, hey, you know, I know, I know, I can like, you know, find a cure and find a vaccine or whatnot to like make every well, not make everybody new again, but like help the environment and pretty much like change, um, change the zombie back into human. Um, I did like that. Um, and what else? Um, I like I like the uh, the GT five hundred in the in the first beginning. <laughs> I did like that because I was. You don't like the apps? No, no. I, I, I mean, I mean, he I did, love the apps. He did inspire me. Like, hey man, you know, you gotta get, you know, you gotta get back in the gym, my guy. Like, he was up there doing this. I'm like, I'm like, man, I'm like, Will Smith, bro, you, you know, you inspired me to get back, you know, get back in the gym, like, you know. But um, yeah, yeah, the GT five hundred, you know, how he was just, you know, just riding in the first beginning. Um, and you know, well, no bad on the street for him. Um, yeah, so that's it. And 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 also, also the animals too, like the lion came out. I did like that part. Um, you know, when when the mother lion uh got the prey and you know, the daddy came out, he was looking at like, hey, bro, like, do something. Back down, like, do, do something. something. Like, <laughs> you know, man, I'm right here now. This is my family now. We got to eat too. So I did like that part. All right, Togapi. Okay, uh, I'm going to go with the dislikes first because I got some dumb stuff to say. Um, <laughs> first, the zombies, they look like they need lotion. I'm just going to say it. <laughs> <laughs> it looked, it looked fly to me. I was like, are these, these zombies? I think we should give them a lotion that go back in the human. <laughs> they could start the apocalypse. They need a lotion. They went out. People like, yo, like my hair falling out. Now I'm bald. Okay. They're doing like that Black Panther thing when the women like go bald or thing. They're doing that now. I was like, oh shit, these zombies, they need lotion. That's why they, that's what happened. I was trying to tell how they went. The, the apocalypse. I was like, oh shit, these zombies need some lotion. And uh, oh my God. I'm like, hey, what the fuck? Like, these some pale headed zombies right now. I, I did like the lion. I was like, okay, I like the lion. I thought that was Mufasa. I was like, hell yeah, Mufasa survived the apocalypse. Hell yeah, I feel you, bro. <laughs> and then, and then uh, I guess, like, the dislike is when he died. I was like, damn it, I was hoping that he made it, but fuck, you know, Chris Rock got him back for that shit. That's <laughs> That's why you probably was mad. She been mad at Jada, but we ain't gonna talk about that. So, yeah. You better keep Jada out your mouth. Yeah, I know because you know, you're gonna get, 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 get mad at me, and I'm gonna get canceled. And you know, that's usually what's gonna happen. You might show up in my house, keep your man, keep her man all your fun of fun. What the hell you talking about? You come out of closet. What the way? How you get? No, but, uh, the the movie I like the movie. Uh, I did like to see the animals, and now I, I like that he didn't give up. I was like, okay, he's trying to save everybody. And then like the one thing I did like, like when you took the when you took the female, they all came out. I was like, yo, chill out. She ours. Why are you doing this to us? Like we just need ocean. What the fuck? Save us. 
Thank you, you got that Johnson and Johnson. Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't like that he died in the end. And then I understand like why he felt the way he felt. Right, he's in an apocalypse. This man thought he he tried to save his family. He like yo take my family. You know I'm good. I don't know. I can handle it. I catch up when I need to catch up. And he just and I didn't like when the dog died. I was like damn it, damn the guy. Oh yo again, you son of a bitch. What the dog doing? They just they get the dog. Like, well, damn, now I gotta put him down. What the fuck? I didn't like that. <laughs> Besides that, I thought the movie was great. It's a good movie. I just think like, oh shit, well, if you end up like that, you know, I'm gonna have to start wearing my Tarzan pants. Now I'm gonna start working out more, I have to grow my hair longer and shit, I might see a beard. You know, it's, I'm just gonna have to have a staff or like a PlayStation controller, I'm hitting people like get out of <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, let's see, let's see. All right, now, the next question. oh, you now, go, you go. Now, let me say this I I didn't understand like why everybody was bald head either, like you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like, no zombies in the movie did not have hair, and I was like, bro, like, you know, why everybody bald head? Like, did it, you know, the virus like so take out your hair? Way. So it starts off with alopecia. So when oh, you, that's, the oh, okay. that's the first thing. That's the first thing. Okay. So okay. So you get so alopecia. Alright. Okay. Okay. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, that's actually going into the, the next topic is what do you think the creatures were? Like, I'm gonna tell you what I think. I think because they have a little bit of this lure to them with the only coming out at mm. night and all uh -huh. I was thinking yeah. when they drink blood more on the lines of like some vampire hybrid yes. because it came from a treatment of vaccine for cancer mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Yeah. oh okay this is so this is why in the Abel beginning of the it. movie yeah, you're, yeah. Right. you're right it was okay. supposed to have been a vaccine to prevent cancer that, you're right yeah. and it went haywire. that's true and then yeah, like, then then people start mutating. So they didn't actually die, they but they mutated. They changed. Yeah, they I became, know, you know, different. So this is a question: What would you consider them as, knowing that? I can't. I can't say they're daywalkers because they hated the sun, right? <clears throat> if I remember correctly, they hated the sun. Right. So I would. I would give them like a, a a weird mix between vampire and zombie, honestly, because like. Vampires, right. vampires just want your blood. They don't want to eat you. But those mm -hmm. people wanted to eat you, mm -hmm. and they wanted your blood. So, I would say a cross between zombie and vampire. I feel like they're like bald cannibals. <laughs> bald cannibals. That's a good one. Bald ashy cannibals. Like bald cannibals. <laughs> it's just lotion. It's like kind of pasty. It's lotion. It just, it just uh, kind of pasty. Nine oh one. I thought about. Today, I thought about um, I, you know, well, I thought about the movie today. Uh, I am legend, so I would say. I actually thought about you know that question too. I'm like, man, were they like really vampires or they were zombies? At the same time, like you said, like they they couldn't be like daywalkers because they came out at night. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to say vampires. See, that's the thing with the movie. He didn't really consider the fact they may still have a consciousness. He considered them just zombies. Right. Exactly. But at the end, that's what I liked about it. It's like it's this shock that he's in shock. Like they actually feel emotion. Mm -hmm. it, it's it's primal emotion, but it's an emotion. Mm -hmm. So they're they're still in there, and he realizes that when he actually tries to cure one, and he actually mm -hmm. does. I think he cured the lady. One of the yeah. Yeah, but um, as far as the aspect to what you would do differently overall, what would you do differently if you were Will Smith in that movie? If you could change anything about it, what's, what would you change? What's one thing you would change? Hmm. And how do you think it would change the ending? I think my change comes from the ending that I saw, because I remember you telling me that there was more than one ending, but I've only seen one yeah, ending. I didn't even know that. So I think 
I, I honestly think that the change that I would make would be when I was getting the the, the girl and the guy, the little boy out of the little the little back went the back window or whatever the tunnel. I would have went with him. He had enough time. Like he had enough time to go with them. He got the vials. He could have handed the vials to them, and he could have crawled in after. And I know he was trying to make sure that the guy banging his head was not going to get through. Mm-hmm. But I mean, I he's worth more alive to the rest of the human race yeah fact. than that file of the cure because he could have did so much more past that so mm-hmm. i would have i would have went with them i wouldn't have yeah i feel i feel the same way uh because he had so much time to like you know just crawl through that little hole mm-hmm. you know got the blood or whatnot um, but at the same time, I feel like he was pretty much over it because his wife and, you know, kid passed away. And his and dog. Like, and he had a dog. And he was like, man, you know what? You know, just just as long as they got this blood, uh, they, you know, the next doctor or next scientist can make, like, uh, millions of, like, vaccines so they can, like, you know, mm-hmm. just cure everybody. You know, mm-hmm. just save humanity. Yeah. All right, I think like when I look at him, I think he was at his wits and I really feel like he's like, yo, I did everything I need to do. As long as they live, then I'm good. But I, I think I would have went with them. I probably would have saved my dog because I love that motherfucker. Like, mm-hmm. saved my dog. <laughs> mm-hmm. And uh, you know, and then um I probably would like being a little nicer because he was kind of me. He's like, fuck you guys. <laughs> yeah, I, I think me, I would have, I wouldn't have done too much differently, except I wouldn't have underestimated the creatures. Them too. Um, and then probably in the beginning when he first did see the lady and the child, he was very rude. Yeah. And he was dismissive to them, but I mean, you could take that as he's been alone for a long time. Yeah. Mm. But at the same time, yeah, I probably would have left with them and, and, you know, helped them on their way and maybe eventually come back to finish my research. Yeah. If that was something I wanted to do. But I wouldn't have left them, you know, stranded to go on their own. Yeah. And that's what he was originally going to try to do anyway. <laughs> Is that you? <laughs> yeah. So you have to consider that part. Originally, he wasn't going to, he didn't want them to stay. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, I was. <clears throat> but um yeah all right i think that's a pretty much that for that move we're gonna go on to morbius um we're gonna say our likes and dislikes about the movie and what would we do differently if we were the main character morbius mm. oh, the, oh God. morbius not morpheus morbius so, morbius. so okay like honestly quite honestly and this is gonna make me seem like i'm insane i would have given my friend the serum. I would have given my friend the serum. Him and I could have worked out together with my girlfriend on how we can get blood. We could have been good to go and we could have been superheroes together. Like honestly, like like him him trying to just be like, no, I'm better than you. I can handle yeah. this. I was like, my God, what's the difference? <laughs> what's really the difference? But um yeah, I think that's that that was that would have been what I would have changed. What I loved about the movie was him having the self dialogue of him his self being his own subject after he took the serum. Mm. I loved how he was like, "Oh, you know, it was 6 hours since the last time I got blood and now I'm craving it and I'm going to put myself in this glass room and see how long I can go without blood and what happens to me." Um, and yeah, and he was like totally being his own guinea pig. I love that aspect. I love the aspects of him being a, a crossover between Batman and Spider-Man, basically. Mm-hmm. Um, he was actually a bat, which was really cool. Yeah. Um, and I, I think I think I, th- I think the movie is golden. I, I don't have really any negative um thoughts about the movie. Jared Leto is a god. <laughs> I feel like he can't do no wrong. Um I, if, and if I remember correctly, he's also the head of 30 Seconds to Mars, which is one of my favorite bands. So okay. um, he's he's pretty cool. I have no negatives about the movie. Okay. Uh, 901? Yeah. Um, 
I did like the fact that um, he was trying to, you know, just trying to cure, well, just trying to find a cure for, like, um, a rare disease. Uh, he was trying to help kids. Um, and I did like, like, in the first beginning, uh, when they went to the cave, and, like, um, you know, he cut his hand, and the blood started showing, and the bats turned around and looked at him, and he was just standing there, and all the bats came. I did like, you know, I like that part, too. Um, I did like the fact that he was, uh, like, uh, Trinity said, you know, it was like, he, he, he was like a mix of, like, Batman and Spider-Man, mm -hmm. and I love the, love the fact when he found out he can actually fly. Um, I did like, um, I, I really liked the movie. I really don't have like that much bad to say, but I didn't like the fact when he was on the roof and he was like running from Tyrese. I feel like he, he really could have jumped in and realized he could fly, but he didn't want to, I, I guess he didn't want to take that chance or whatnot. Um, and you know, if if I was the main character in that movie, I probably would have gave my friend um, the blood first. You know, just test it out on him first because <laughs> I feel like, like, like I feel like you, you know I feel like he re like his friend really wanted wanted to be normal <clears throat> because he really got bullied. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? And you know he just wanted. You know, just wanted to be normal, like a normal guy. So, I probably would have tried it with him first. I probably would just use use my friend as the guinea pig first. <laughs> <laughs> and also, I I didn't like. I'm sorry. I didn't like. I didn't like how his friend ended up killing the man who actually raised him. Mm -hmm. You know, and yeah, I, I I didn't I didn't like that part. All right, Togepi. Okay, uh, I did like like the vampires and the, and the bats and stuff. That was really cool with the scenes and everything. Uh, I see why he didn't get his friend to serve though, because in the end he became a villain. He had to fight him. He's like, yo, I gotta take you down. Like, you doing too much, bro. I gotta like, I gotta destroy you. Yeah, I, and I see why he didn't get him to serve. I, I feel like maybe they could have like done something to like help him, his friend, stop him become a villain. But uh, it didn't work out like that. But I see why he did it to himself because he was like, okay, what well, if something goes wrong? I can't do it to him, so I'm going to do it myself. That's, I think that's why he didn't do it. So. What? Like, my bad's with the serum. And like, he's turning into like half man, half vampire. So he's like, I got to fight this this monster that wants the, the blood. And I got to fight that. And I got I to gotta deal with that. I want you to deal with that. So I have to deal with it myself. I would say for me, I definitely would have gave my friend a serum. But the thing is, with that in mind, I don't think I would have given it to him first. I would have actually had a real guinea pig, like another person that has the same <laughs> condition um, to test it out on that was willing and under understood the risk. Uh, because you got to realize that friend was the backer. He was the financer. Yeah. So if oh, you kill yeah, the financer, yeah. you use, you can't cure yourself either with no yeah. money. And so true. with that in mind, I mean, I understand why he didn't give him the serum at first, but after he knew that it could cure him and he knew how he could feed himself to stay strong, I definitely would have talked to my friend and said, look, here, this is, I'm going to give you this, but we have to monitor you and myself, and we have to find a way to cure the side effect. I think if that had happened, the friend wouldn't have been so angry and upset and done some of the things he did, because I think it was out of that feeling of rejection that he did a lot of bad stuff. I don't think he really would have, or on second thought, he could have just been, a situation of, you know, with great power comes great responsibility, which is thrown all throughout the Marvel series and franchise, mm -hmm. stating yeah. that, you know, one still had the values that he was instilled with, which were, you know, he cared about human life. He still wanted to help people. He showed self-restraint versus the friend who lived a very uh, 
I guess you could say, wealthy life where he had the freedom to do and say what he wanted and get away with stuff. So his mindset was of a selfish nature where he felt like as long as I'm good, who cares about anyone else? So with that in mind, I don't know. I think it's a toss up between whether he would be good or bad if he had actually said, let me help you as my friend. Or he was just bad from that point, from all his experiences over the years being picked on. Maybe he just Mm -hmm. naturally was bitter and just wanted to hurt other people once he got that power. So you can't really tell. I mean, and I think he killed the dad out of jealousy. Mm -hmm. I mean, really, when you think about it, he kept saying, you're always siding with, you know, with him, yeah. he's, he's the good mm-hmm. guy. He's, he's, you know, so I think in that case, he just wanted to hurt his friend because he felt jealous that he was the golden child. He was the yeah. favorite. Mm-hmm. Valor say we're on Morbius, darling. So, uh, we're talking about Morbius. Is he, is he in, hey? He's in the chat, yeah. We are on Morbius. We were talking about our likes and dislikes. Uh, as far as my likes, I loved everything about it. I'm a vampire fan. I'm a bat fan. I love all that. Um, as far as dislikes, I did not like the ending. Um, mm. The reason being, I think it could have been resolved differently um, had things gone uh, better with the character and the villain. As a friendship, I think if he had made different choices that maybe they could have, like, you know, it would say it worked together. But um, mm. other than that, I mean, it really goes along with what I know about the original. Um, and, I, and I think I, I really like it. Um, yeah. The only thing I would say is <laughs> I didn't like the character, Tyrese's character. I really didn't like how they threw in the um, the cops to it so mm. fast. It, it kind of put a damper on us getting to see the full backstory of his powers and how he gained his abilities over time because it made it kind of like instant. I think mm-hmm. if they had stretched it out a little bit longer, even though Marvel does his really long movies, if they had stretched it out a little longer and explained how he learned one thing at a time and he advanced in his abilities like in other movies, then you would have a a stronger connection to the main character. Okay. Um, he basically how- went from zero to a hundred in a matter of like 20 minutes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's like, true. Wow. Ty, Ty, Tyrese's character, like, why, why was he even a thing? I feel, I feel like Tyrese just needed a job, and they created a job for him. <laughs> yes, <laughs> like, yeah. like an add on. Like he's, yeah, like, like, like Tyrese was DLC. Like <laughs> <laughs> they could have just took the cops yeah, right out of it. If they had took yeah, the cops right out, I think it would have been way better. Well, I mean, I, I did want him to die, though. Man. I did kind of want Tyrese to die. I don't know why. I just... Yeah, he was on. very arrogant to say. Oh, that he came out yet. You know, no. you gotta work on something. Fast and Furious hasn't came out yet. You gotta do something. <laughs> well, no, I'm just like, um, he really was a, a arrogant character. Ah, he played at the the artificial blood did save his life. He did kind of come at the doctor kind of harshly in the beginning. I mean, the first thing, you're not going to think of the crippled doctor that right. helped save your life as the one who killed the nurse. Come on now. Yeah. Right. That, that was kind of, then they didn't even say they had to question him. They were finna handcuff him. <laughs> I like, feel like they were, they were trying to make Tyrese Commissioner Gordon, but it just didn't work. Yeah, yeah, I can see It didn't work that. at all. It didn't yeah. work. You took my kids from me. <laughs> <laughs> I need a movie. I need a movie role. <laughs> but let's see. Oh, uh, next we're gonna discuss day shift. Say, say, I know all on, y'all Jamie. got some views on day shift now. <laughs> Love with Jamie Fox, and it's on Netflix, y'all. If y'all hadn't mm-hmm. seen it. All right, mm-hmm. my best part of day shift. My favorite part of day shift. It's Snoop Dogg. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. It's Snoop Dogg. I mean, I can't really like his whole character, and um, I thought he was dead, but he wasn't, mm-hmm. which leads me to believe that okay, in the movie where he was Blackula or Dracula or wherever he was back back in the day when he was a vampire. Oh yeah. I, yeah. I think this could be a prequel to him becoming 
that vampire. Mm-hmm. Oh. Well. Because he was like, he was supposed to die. He was supposed to die. There's no way he fought off all those vampires with a pistol. There's no way. There's no way. I'm sorry. There's no way he did that. And then he just comes out of the freaking, um, what are those things called? The gutter? Yeah. And the just hole. wipes the blood? No. Come on. You're a vampire, my guy. You're a vampire. I know you are. I know you are. Um, things I didn't like about the movie. I didn't like that they just made Jamie Foxx's character so immobilized by his love of his daughter. And I know that parents would do anything for their kids, but he could have figured out a way to get all that money so much like easier, faster, and straight to the point. They made him dumb. Like the love, it was like the love of his daughter crippled him mentally. And I didn't like he that. Done all these things. He should have done all these things. <laughs> you know, like his job, like, you know, like, like, I don't know if he was a, he was like a, he was cleaning pools or something. Like, he liked that, he cleaned the pool. <laughs> Like, like with his shirt on and maybe like some nice shoes and maybe some like really short to go your knees and take the pictures with the fan and like. <laughs> Talk to people, what are you talking about? <laughs> I feel like you like said what he said. You said what he said. You said what he said. You said what he said. Um, I love making good. Okay. Hold on, uh, I said it again. I said I love making love good. making good. Okay, I love yeah. making good. Yeah. You know, she didn't. You know, she she didn't act too well, but just seeing her is it's good. Yeah, that's yeah. It's nice to see her in a movie again. Mm-hmm. It's been a while. Chad, do something since you got that. So, dream. what's your favorite part <laughs> about day shift? Me? And, yeah, and what's your least favorite about my favorite? Movie? My favorite part, my all time favorite part, besides Snoop Dogg, is the little guy that pees on himself every time. <laughs> Oh man, yeah. Oh. He's, a, he's a genius. He's not ready to shoot people. And ready. then when he be when he becomes a vampire and he's like, I didn't pee on myself this time. <laughs> and they're like, uh yeah, vampires don't pee or poop. And he's like, just let me have this one, please. <laughs> I think I think that's a Trinity moment right there. Uh-huh. It really is. I could see you saying that if you were that guy. Exactly. That, that was- like I freaking I didn't do it this time. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Um. Yeah. That's my favorite part. You gave me a sandwich when you were like, I'm just gonna go to the sandwich. You guys got me. I, I, I'll be back. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to the kitchen get a sandwich for you. Yeah, <laughs> I think Toga P wouldn't even been out in the movie too long. He probably would have posted. Yeah, I'm, like, I'm, gonna go to I'm like, I'm gonna go get a sandwich. I'm gonna go to the kitchen. You guys got this. I'm gonna come back. And then we can sell it for them. <laughs> so he's like, sign me out. So he's like, no vampires for me. I'm good. No, I would have done it. I would have been in the movie, but like when you said that, like, you know what? I'm going to go make a sandwich while you celebrate with that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, 901, what did you yeah. say? Uh, for, me, for me, was Snoop Dogg. Uh, saying Snoop Dogg uh, in the movie was like, it, it it was it was funny because you know you know Snoop Dogg character is like it's like funny man like like he's just a a funny guy to me um but another another part I like when the grandma like the grandma vampire man that mm-hmm. lady that lady was man that lady was fighting I'm like man like Jamie Foxx could not. Get rid of this grandma. And I was like, man, grandma is like throwing down. Um, I did like that part. Uh also, you know how like Hello one. Huh. Yeah. Hey one journey, how you doing? Oh, okay. One journey. Oh, mm-hmm. hey, what's up? Um shoot, what I was saying. Yeah, yeah, when Snoop Dogg came, when Snoop Dogg came back. With the minigun? I, I totally lost my train of thought. I'm sorry. Was it, with, was it with the minigun? Yeah, yeah, like, with the minigun. Because, because I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, man, where's the hell is Snoop Dogg? Because, yeah. like, he came out, like, he was out of like nowhere. Hour, right? Yeah, yeah he, he was, was gone, gone for a hour. while. <laughs> yeah, he was gone. And I'm like, man, like, come on, man. It's Snoop Dogg. Y'all ain't going to show Snoop Dogg. And he just came in. And, you know, that, that part was, like, really super dope. Um, 
I I really didn't like. Well, I, I really don't have any dislike about the movie. To be honest with you, I didn't know Jamie yeah. Foxx had it in him to be in an action flick like this. Yeah, it was like it. It see see the movie to me. It was soupy. Uh, I said soupy. It was super action pack. <laughs> It was super action packed, but at the same time, it was funny. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like it wasn't that scary, you know, like vampire movie. But it's like action packed at the same time. It was like super, super funny to me. Yeah. All right. Uh, and also seeing seeing Megan Good, yeah. like in the movie again, like it was it's pretty mm-hmm. cool. Yeah, she could be my mommy any day. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm gonna just sit over here. My bad. <laughs> okay. To start, <laughs> to start with day shift, I would say I was surprised it was so good. I really didn't think it was gonna be that good. I thought it was gonna be like mm-hmm. him working at a job. I didn't even realize it was gonna be a vampire movie yeah. when I first saw it. Same. So, but I think the opening scene where he's fighting the grandma <laughs> set the tone. Because at first I'm like, okay, he must be looking. So I see the old lady, you know, she's doing a shower. And she's, I think like, you know, an innocent old lady. And then she says, where's my, I guess the boy, the guy's name. I thought, he, okay, Jamie's looking for the son. You know, he's looking for the yeah. son. And then he shoots her and I was in shock. <laughs> so then, I'm like, wait, did, did he just shoot the old lady? <laughs> I was freaking out at that point. I was like, why? And then she started transforming. And then I'm like, oh, crap. And it was like a full on battle. And I'm like, oh, this is tight. I'm going to yeah. like the movie. The opening scene was dope. I that can't see awesome. that. that was dope. I think that was my favorite part. I think if they had changed the engine a little, it would have been way better. I think they ended it too soon, really. They really did. Um, but, yeah, the main part was the beginning. I loved it. And, yeah, the dude that kept peeing on himself, yeah, I liked him, too. <laughs> He's like the little square vanilla guy, you know, the what they call it, the corporate guy. Uh-huh. Yeah, I he like, was super I corporate. Penal like so, uh, code 2375, paragraph 4. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, going over the rules. I actually liked him because I know people like that, you know, and it's like, it's nice to see that in the movie and it it does, he made it really funny. Instead of Mm -hmm. annoying, he made it really funny. Mm -hmm. Uh, Now, I'm going to say, and Trinity, you know, I ain't like that part where the two brothers were spitting gum in each other's mouth. Okay? <laughs> oh, yeah, that, that was, was nasty. I forgot okay. that. Oh, it was so disgusting. That was the worst part about, to, to me, it grossed me out. Like, everything else was perfect. Your dad just kept that little scene out. <laughs> I was like, because at first I didn't realize it was gum. I, I, I had to spit. Re- me yeah, too. Still, I, was yeah. like, ah. I thought it was spit too until we watched it twice. Okay. No, nah, they, they suck. They suck. Oh, that was just I love the brothers when they were fighting zombies and like they kept on like throwing bullets to each other to reload and how they <laughs> set each other up for the kills and yeah. uh, the, the skinnier brother with the swords in his feet and he was doing like all kind of hand moves and kicking people and killing them. Oh, it was so good. It, the, mm-hmm. Some of the best fighting scenes I've seen in a long time was in this movie. I, I like yeah. the gore. The gore was good. Mm-hmm. It was just enough, but not too much. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Uh, the ending was kind of sucky. I mean, yeah. I get it. I get it. That was his, his basic signature move was to make them decapitate themselves, but mm-hmm. yeah, I think oh, yeah, it yes, fought yes. a little harder. You know, yeah. and as far as the Snoop thing, I thought he had blown himself up too, but then I realized he had uh, UV bombs on him. Oh, mm. he did. Yeah. You're right. Those so it was just light. It was just light. It wasn't. It was anything. light, so it killed the vampires, but not him. Now he did get bit, though. That's what he I'm did. saying. This is a prequel. Yeah, this is a prequel. Did, this movie is a prequel. Bit. Like he he covered it up with the uh, scarf at the end, but yeah. 
because the Jamie was hey, saying. Hey, one journey. Thanks for you're... the 200 bits. <laughs> hey, what's up, one journey? No. Yeah. Thank you, one journey. I appreciate it. So, yeah, but that's the thing. Um, Because I remember Jamie saying in the movie, he was like, yeah, how you going to survive that? And he kept saying, oh, I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay. Because yeah, then fit out of truck is neck. Yeah. So with that in mind, I think it probably will be a part two, maybe with Snoop as like the bad guy, maybe. I think that would be awesome. Yeah, yeah. because the guy, you know, the corporate guy did put on his hat, like Snoop Dogg mm-hmm. hat. So mm-hmm. you're right. Yeah. He, he did put on his hat. This 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 movie in his hat. This movie is a secret sleep. It's a sleeper. It's a it's it a is. secret slap. Like this movie goes so hard yeah, on so many it's different so categories. Hard. It's so good. Because the the it's way they like present it on Netflix is not like a horror. It's not like a vampire movie. It just seems kind of look from the first look. It kind of looks kind of boring. I'm gonna be honest. I was thinking this gonna be one of the movies that I fall asleep on, mm-hmm. and when then I'm like, Grandma and her what? body contorted. Oh. 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 Like, damn, Grandma, I know you can do moves like that. <laughs> you know that. Like, grandma, like, okay, grandma can throw it back. She <laughs> grandma can throw it grandma back. Grandma was like, what? Okay. Grandma was getting it. Like, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Dude, I, I'll smash you, but, like, you might try to, like, turn me to that. Like, yo, sure, I don't want that. That's but the I, craziest thing I think about is that he did take teeth, her teeth. Mm-hmm. Yep. But if he hadn't taken her teeth, would she have come back like the like the guy, the corporate guy? Uh, oh yeah, because if you take the teeth, they still can come back, right? No, without the teeth, they can't feed. Mm-hmm. Facts. So With she the vein, would have yeah. So she would have eventually died. Yeah. But if she was created from the same female that he, the corporate guy was turned by, she would have the same healing ability. That's probably mm-hmm. why she was so strong. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because that was her daughter. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Spoiler alert: the old lady. Is <laughs> I know, the right? Guy is the black guy's daughter. <laughs> but, uh, I think uh, I, what I liked about the movie, I like the the setting, but like, damn, it's just too hard on me. Like, what the heck? Like, that was looking all like kind of sweaty. I'm like, yeah, I can't fight vampires. It's hot out here. Like, what you expect me to do? It's too hot out here. Like, what the fuck? It's too hot to fight vampires in that sun. Damn. No, and then he should, I think he should get him a better truck. Like, you know, you don't, you don't <laughs> get pulled. Like, you just, you lying to people. What they want, they pull clean. And you out here not doing it. You fight a man, probably. <laughs> and then, like, I guess the woman, you know, she looked nice. But she crazy, you know. She crazy, you know. I, I don't think I want to mess with her. She crazy, you know. But besides that, I don't got any issues. Um, as far as what you would do differently in terms of the family aspect of the movie, what would you have done differently? I'll start. I would say I would have told my wife sooner. Mm-hmm. I definitely would have told her sooner, whether she thought I was crazy or not. That's besides <laughs> the point. At least, you know, oh, vampire, baby. she would have been, have some awareness of it and potentially been safer. I think it with that aspect. And then as far as the selfishness of him, I get he loved his daughter and he wanted his daughter to stay around, but with that being said, would you really want your wife or ex wife and daughter to be in a town full of vampires? I mean, you gotta take that in consideration. I think me personally, I would love them enough to let them go and make sure they're in a place where they don't have like a whole nest of vampires moving in. Because mm-hmm. that was the whole point of the lady's job. She was trying to move more in. Yeah. Um, Trinity, what do you think? What I would have I, I would I would have tried my hardest to become a day walker. <laughs> no, for real. It would have helped me kill vampires easily because I would have had powers. I wouldn't have to rely on gadgets. <laughs> and and they wouldn't have been able to punk me. They wouldn't. Have, he's he was he he couldn't fight back because he wasn't a vampire. When they had him on his knees, he had no strength. He couldn't fight back in front of his family. No, you got me all the way messed up. You got me <laughs> twisted like a pretzel. Somebody dying today. <laughs> so that's the only thing you change is you would just be turned into a vampire. I would have became a vampire just so I can stop other vampires. 
All right. Uh, yeah. But what about the aspect of when you first turn? What if he had attacked his family? Well, he wouldn't have been around his family. He would have been somewhere else. That's true. That's true. Especially if he would have got turned by the girl that can, you know, like the like the square guy, the same person that's mm-hmm. turned him. If he would, if Jamie Foxx would have got turned by her, he would have been good. He would have been a okay. I guess that's true. What about or, you, nine hundred oh, one? Oh, yo, you gone? You gone? You still talking? No, 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 you get it's fine. It's fine. It's no, go on and say it. I was gonna say, or I would have been turned by the the good vampire chick that lived in the apartment complex. Oh uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she was, she, yeah, she, she was She could have trained me. She yeah, was she, hot. I don't know about yeah, y'all, no, but no, yeah, yeah, she could. She could have. I ain't gonna lie to you. She could have trained She's me fine. in multiple ways in one. And we all Hi, SB. Good. How you doing? SB, what's good? To Welcome. Hey, Very real fun, Dogati. Dogati. How y'all doing? We shout y'all out. Salute. But yeah, um, as far as telling my, my family about what I, what I really would have done, like as far as my job goes, I mean, I guess I would have told them. They don't really have to know as long as everything's good. Yeah, but that's the thing. I mean, she divorced him because she thought he was cheating and, and doing all kind of <laughs> other stuff. It, it's, yeah, that's what yeah, she kept she saying. You kept lying. You kept yeah, lying. Yeah, well, you, you know, he being a man, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> he, do, he doing what he needs to do. Yeah, yeah pretty much. Oh, oh, whoa. Well. Well. We got a raid. We got a raid. Oh, we got oh a raid, wow. Everybody. Okay, Ooh. let's go. Okay. <laughs> you got a raid. Hey. I don't think I can keep up, y'all. <laughs> young young Tire 718, that Sonic emoji. Let's go. I'm all about Ooh. Sonic the Hedgehog. Let's go. W raid. I, I, I think it's me. You might have to help me vibe? out on this one. Jersey That's the God. King. What's up? Real Dog Goddess. It's Welcome. Me. You got him. Dane TD. Ty D. Yeah, King in here. Like he just popped in here. Hi. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> hey everybody. I I will shout y'all out. I just wow. Welcome, welcome. Oh, I'm PJ Thousand, Variety oh, Streamer. Um this is Ace Trainer Trend, Dino One the Gamer, and Sensei Togapi. Welcome to the podcast. Yo, How y'all doing tonight? Mom. I don't know. That's all I got. I love my mom. I, love my mom. I don't have. Oh, man. We outside. <laughs> we Hi, really everyone. Out here. I don't have anything to say right now. I just all right. Think. So, 901. Uh, what would you change if you were the. What would you change in the family dynamic? And what would you change in the movie if you were the main character? I would definitely, you know, try to, try to get, you know, get my family out of there. Um, you know, my ex wife or you know, my ex wife and my daughter would have trying to move them to like a different city or even like another state. Um and also um movie everywhere. What really got me when you know when I go to the pawn shop, right? And I'm thinking that I'm finna get like Buku five grand, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> for a vampire teeth. And they got offered me eight hundred dollars. I probably would have went ham on him, you know. Mm-hmm. And he looked at as a sneakerhead. He looked at my kits and like, hey, bro, you know, I want those. I want those J's you got on. And I was like, what? Like, so you mean telling me that those sneakers cost more, cost more than these vampire teeth? You know, I it's risk bad. my life, food. You know, just to, just okay. to come up with some bread. You know. Yeah, I would definitely, you know, would would have went off on the guy at the pawn shop. <laughs> See, if All you're right, a vampire, and... if you're a vampire, you could have just like taken the money from the register. Oh, <laughs> you yeah, yeah, think about that? Yeah. <laughs> Who gonna stop yeah. you? <laughs> you're, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Who gonna stop you? <laughs> yeah, I think about that. So, what did y'all think about the ending of the movie? Did you like it? Did you think it could have been different? And how would you change it? Uh, I think the ending was pretty good. I mean, I don't, I don't see, I don't see, uh, I don't see why anyone would change it. I really like that. I thought we thought that Snoop Dogg was dead. This man come out a whole like, and then he just he just get home like what? This man like he's like yo, I, I almost died. You know, I'm just like, <laughs> I'm gonna get high right. I'm gonna get hot. You know, like, I was like okay, that's cool. And uh, uh, what else? 
Uh, as far as um him like having his family around, I probably I would have sent him away. I'm like, look, look, you can't be here right now. I'm Blade. I'm on. I'm on Blade. I'm, blade. I'm, blade. I'm blade. right. I just, I'm not shaving my head. I'm going for Wesley Snipes look. Okay, I'm not shaving. I'm Blade right now. You don't need to be here. I got sword and I know the way of the sword. You don't need to be right here. Okay. I just need like an old man and then like a a person to make me check. That's all I need. And I need I need a vampire to bite me. So I'm gonna go get bitten. But I'm gonna mm-hmm. turn. You don't need to be here right now. Okay. So you gotta go. And you might ask, but we're not together, so I can just do what I want. But just take care of my child. Take care of my offspring. Right? Well, see, that's the that's the thing about it. He didn't tell her because he didn't want to worry her, and I'm pretty sure he didn't think she'd believe him anyway. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Like, if you if you tell you know tell your girl you know whoever like, hey babe, you know you got to move to another city because like vampires, man, they gonna be like, what the bro? Come on, now. ain't no way you know vampires are here. What are you talking about? Ain't no vampires, you know what I'm saying? So. I'm I'm way different because I would believe him. I would believe him in a heartbeat. I'm like, for real, there's vampires. <laughs> for real, hold on. Okay, you know what? Look, you, can you take the kids, and then I'm gonna go get bitten. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I think you just want to be a vampire. Yeah, I, be, yeah. I either want to be a vampire or a werewolf so bad. I do so bad. But yeah, I think. I um, I don't know. I kind of like the ending where the girl said she wanted to be one too. She wanted to be a vampire hunter. I think that mm-hmm. was sweet. But I think at the same time, if I was him, I would try to keep her from doing it. Uh, no. I mean, maybe train her enough to protect herself in case that happens again. But at the same time, I think I probably would keep my family as far away from that as possible. Hmm. And as far as in the uh, pawn shop, yeah, he, he would have got beat down. I'm sorry. Yeah, I would have just on. took the cash. Nah, I would have you know, just I would have put 800 You know, I'll take $800 for like right next time. You know, you need to up their price. And, uh, no, but he really, think about it. He actually, he made a good point. He actually wanted to give him more for his shoes for his than shoes. actual teeth. He actually took the teeth with him. I think, what did he pay? Yeah. Like $1,200, $1,500 mm-hmm. for just the shoes? Yep. Oh, yeah. He could have had them shoes. I would have threw them <laughs> shoes at him so fast. I'm not, I'm not I would have kept my gun. I would have kept the gun. Yeah, I, yeah, I for sure would have kept the gun. <laughs> I for sure would have kept the gun. But I'm yeah, not, um, that's what I want to say. I'm not giving Jordan to you. You're crazy. You know what I, mean? I, think, I think Snoop should have had a bigger part in it. I think uh, they just threw him in there, you know, just to get that, that fan base in there and get some mm-hmm. comedy relief. But yeah, I think at the end Snoop had changed. I think he was a vampire. He I was really a vampire. I think he was a vampire because there's no way. How'd he get out of there? For real? Even if he used all those grenades, those you grenades. There were too many vampires. And there were more coming. Right? I mean, so if he maybe. is, there, there's gonna be a part two. I want it. I feel like there might be a part two. On the Saturday ending, it has to be a part two. Well, I got, I got, I got Jamie Fox on speed dial, so let me, let me get him on the phone real quick. <laughs> oh, Jamie, Jamie, okay. let me. When we go to get a day shift too. <laughs> who do you think, if there was one actor who could have played that part better, who do you think it would be? Tom Cruise. <laughs> No, so, heck, nah, no, uh, nobody. <laughs> one person, if there's even one person who could wait, J- Jamie Foxx's role. Yeah. Mm. A young Wesley, but that's because we're so used to him as Blade. Yeah, but this is the thing, Jamie. Even if he had turned, wouldn't have been a daywalker. He would have been a straight vampire. Um, 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 um. What's his name from Skin and Bone? From Skin and Bone. Um, what's his name? The the Michael Jai White. Michael B. Jordan. Michael B. Jordan. Michael B. Jordan. Yeah. Yes. Michael, no, that Michael Jai White would have been way better. No, he's, uh, he's gonna be fucking. He's not really an action movie person. Free. Yes, he is. Michael Jai White. He's uh, literally like a like a. He's okay. a black belt in like so many martial arts. <laughs> what what mean, he's like, he's Are we talking about the same person? Michael Jai White. If you got, if you know who Michael Jai That's White is, put a one in the chat. <laughs> I'm not good with names. I know what oh, they somebody like. Says, uh, uh, somebody says Samuel, uh, Samuel, Samuel L. Jackson. That yeah, would Samuel be L. so Jackson awesome. That would have been good. That would have been good. <laughs> been good. Stay, stay in the damn truck. 
<laughs> yeah. But no, no one, y'all, yeah, none of us brought up the fact that little girl is like a boss. She literally was in she that really truck. Was. Yeah, I liked it that bun. She was yeah. just like, and then she knew what was going on. Yeah, but the she whole just time. Played along. <laughs> She's like, "Well, my game's done." So, you know, you look like you need my help. I'm gonna help you, Dad. Yeah. Shari <laughs> knew what it was. She, she was all Shari knew what it was, but I'm like, no, you cannot be a vampire hunter. You gotta Somebody go to the guy who plays fun. Yeah. You gotta do your bad foot the for fun. Oh yeah, yeah, that's him. Yeah, that's, him. that's Michael J. White. Shout out to Big Joe. Oh, that too. Yeah, yeah. Knowing. Okay, I can see that. For knowing who Michael okay. Jai White is. Now, I'm going to say yeah. this. I love the wife for other movies, but Nilsson, I think she, she was a little soft on Jamie. I think to actually pull that part off, you need Vivica Fox. Oh, no. She would have been cold-blooded no, on him. Oh, no. You know she would have been cold-blooded. Vivica she would have gone off on him. Now, she's outdated maybe because she's older, but come on. If she Whoa. was a younger Vivica Fox, you know she okay. would have pulled that that's role off. Yeah, that's you true. You know what I'm saying? She yeah. probably oh. would have sacked him up one side, down the uh. other. It would have been more realistic. She was a little too soft on Jamie. <laughs> or oh, Nia Long. Now, oh, Nia Long. Yeah, yeah Nia Long. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. I love me some Nia. Yeah. Nia Long would have been good. I feel like... Um, what about like Ice Cube playing that role? Ice Cube would have been good. Would have been good. Yeah, he Ice Cube. Been, I think I think he would be pretty good in an action movie like that. Yeah. He would, but he would bring out more of the. See, Jamie tried to do the serious side of it. I think Ice mm-hmm. Cube would have made it more laughable, more comedy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it would have been funny because it's like, I mean, it's Ice Cube. Yeah. One journey make it count since Fox only loves fifty cents. Yeah, she she said uh he she said uh she does he rocked the world. He did something <laughs> to her. You know, fifty uh, cent said that she from, and she sauteed him from the back as well. Yeah, that's oh. what I was gonna say. From what oh. I heard, fifty cents is a little sweet. Yeah, so, she, uh, say uh, what? Now? I don't know nothing about all that. I love you. <laughs> what? I, 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 what? Tell you, oh, I, I tell you, I tell you, I will tell you what she said that he that I will oh. tell you later on what. I don't think I'll be in the Discord. I, yeah. I want to know this later. I need to know what he likes because I like me some 50 Cent now. 50 Cent like the candy shop. <laughs> she didn't go to the pop. candy shop. That's all right. Candy. That's all right. She went to the candy shop and she took every piece of candy that every ever. single piece of candy. She took it. Oh, wow. Never mind. She just wanted to have his baby and couldn't. That's all it is. From head uh, to toe. She wanted to have his baby and be a millionaire. That's what it was. Have a baby by me, baby, be a millionaire. <laughs> so yeah. All right. Well, anything y'all want to say at the end? Uh, any, any I just want to say. That if you guys like movies and you want to hear more of our opinions on the movies, be sure to tune in whenever we have one of these podcasts. Request some movies to us, to Peaches, to me, to Togepi, to Not On The Gamer. Send us some DMs in Discord, our whispers on Twitch about what movies you think we should watch so we can watch them and then we can give our two cents about them. Can we and thank, thank you for everybody. Thank you for uh, Valor Saint and his community. Thank you for SB Certified. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate all of y'all and all y'all support. And I will be seeing y'all in y'all streams. Thank you so much. All right. Peace. Have a good night, y'all. Bye. 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 Bye.